Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and install the new Exa 7.1 surround sound driver. In order to get the driver, we need to go to the Exa website and on here we need to find the download tab. Click on that and we'll bring up the page where we'll be able to download the software. Now this tutorial is going to show you how to install and set up the new surround sound driver. This new version works on the E900 Pro and the AirJoy Pro as well. So for the AirJoy Pro 7.1 surround sound driver, we need to go to this link here. Now if you're unsure about anything on the site, you can use the guide at the top here to tell if you've got one of the older or newer E900s, but for the AirJoy Pro it's this download button here for this example. Click on the download button and you'll be redirected to another page. You can see on here we've got the surroundsounddriver.zip file and we need to download it. You can go to the download icon up here in the top. If you click on that once it will say Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses but you click on download anyway in blue. The download will now start and you can wait for it to complete until we move on. Now you want to find the file that downloaded. As you can see it's currently a compressed zipped folder so what we need to do is extract it. To do that right click on it and select extract all and then this file destination should be fine it will be pretty much the same location that it's currently in and then you need to click on extract to begin the extraction. This might take a few moments but allow it to complete and then we can move on. Once the extraction is complete it should open up a new file explorer window. In here you need to click on the file and then go to where it says setup.exe. Double click on that to run it. You'll need to click yes on the user account control screen and then the installation window should open up. On the first page click next, then click I accept and then next and then finally click install to begin the installation of the driver. If it says please connect the USB gaming headset device just make sure it is connected and if it is already try reconnecting it. So once the device is connected the installation will begin, all you need to do is allow it to install. It may take a few moments but just leave it and it should complete automatically. You now need to restart your computer for the functions to work properly so you need to either stop the video now and come back to it or if you're on another device then you can just restart your PC now. But in order for the software to work properly we do need to restart our PC now. On the next screen you'll get the option if you want to automatically restart or if you want to save your work first click on no and then click finish and then restart your computer before continuing. So now once you have restarted your PC you should be able to see the desktop icon we've got. You could obviously pin that to the start menu if you wanted to by right clicking on it and selecting pin to start. But if you have restarted you can double click on it to open it up. The software is called the Exa Audio Center. Now you've got the information page, it just wants to make sure that the speaker is selected. You can see once we click on exit we can select speakers here. So we're on the home page of the Exa Audio Center, we've got volume control as I mentioned. We can change the master volume here and also change the left and right. So we, if you click the unlock key we can actually change the balance. So if you want the right side to sound louder than the left, you can do that here. Now we've got some information at the top about the device. We've got some of the settings up here. If you go to these arrows here, which is to switch to the profile panel, if you click on that, you get all the profiles. So these are the set profiles that we've got in the Exo Audio Center. You can see we've got movie mode, we've got music mode, and we've got manual. Now we can add profiles once we've selected them and I'll show you how to do that in a minute but if you wanted to quickly select one of these you can do. Now if we wanted to change some of the audio settings for our speakers for example we can do that within here. Go to the speaker icon and double click on it and you can see we've got all of these options here. So if we go to the sample rate we can change that. We'll leave it at 48 kilohertz for this one but we can go through all of these and change things up to our preference. For example on the equalizer we can enable it here at the top and change some of these. We've got some settings at the bottom so we've got music settings here we can change and if you want to save a manual one you can do. If we change ours to bass for example this is as if we were setting up a profile we can do that by selecting bass and we can change some of the other things we've got environment effects we can enable those you can see we've got concert halls bathrooms and things that would add to the effects and we can change the effect of the room size as well. We can enable the 7.1 virtual speaker shifter. If you go to this option here, click enable, and then we can actually move about some of the effects here. This is really cool. So if you want the right side to be further away or closer, you can have that. And you can really customize this to whatever you want. 
We've got key shifting on here so we can change the pitch of the sound and we can enable vocal fading as well. And we can also enable X ear surround max as the final option for the speakers. So it's again the same for changing the microphone settings. Double click on the mic. We've got volume control here. We've got sample rate and we can change and add echo and things like that. Change the voice as well. And we've got boost as well if we want to enable the microphone boost. And so those are all these settings that we can change within the Exa Audio Center. As I mentioned, if we wanted to save a profile, you can see how this looks slightly different at the top because we've enabled some of these things like the equalizer. If you go to profile view by clicking the arrows and then click on add profile. Now, as you can see, as we've changed some of the settings, we can give our custom profile a name and a description. So if you ever wanna go back to this or back to default, you can switch easily without having to change the settings each time. And so that's how to set up the Exa 7.1 surround sound driver for the new devices, and also how to change and edit some of these settings in the Exa Audio Center. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I really hope you found it helpful.